Ever wonder what that mega tool does or how to use it safely and correctly? Whether you're testing motors, cables, or control panels, understanding insulation resistance testing is critical. In this video, we'll break down how to use a mega insulation tester, step by step, even if you're brand new to it. What is a mega? A mega is a high voltage insulation tester used to measure the resistance of insulation in electrical equipment. It applies a DC voltage, usually 250 volts, 500 volts, or 1000 volts, and reads the resulting resistance in mega ohms. Let's take a closer look at our mega. At the top of the device, we have the lead ports. This is where we insert our test leads. The outermost ports are used to test for resistance, while the inner ports are there for testing voltage. Then we have the selection dial. Here we can select the testing mode that we are going to use. The light button allows us to illuminate the screen in low light conditions for extra visibility. The test button is used to initiate the testing phase of the procedure. Safety first. Before using a mega, always ensure the circuit is de-energized. Megas generate high voltages that can damage live circuits, or worse, cause serious injury, disconnect power, isolate the equipment, and discharge any stored energy before testing. How to use a mega. Here's how to perform a basic insulation resistance test. Select the correct test voltage based on the equipment rating. For motors under 1000 volts, 500 volts is common. Connect the leads, one to the conductor, e.g. motor winding or cable core, the other to the grounded body or earth. Press the test button and hold for a few seconds. Read the display. You should see a value in mega ohms, MO. A reading above one mega ohm is generally considered acceptable, but always consult the equipment specs or local regulations. Interpreting the results, low insulation resistance indicates potential moisture, aging insulation, or breakdown. Watch for values that drop consistently over repeated tests. That could be a red flag. Real-world applications. Technicians use megas in a variety of real-world scenarios, testing motor windings before commissioning, checking cable insulation after installation, troubleshooting breakdowns in HVAC systems. Quick tips and best practices. Always test with equipment disconnected. Let the test voltage run for one minute for large windings. Don't test electronic devices, they can be damaged. Keep your mega calibrated regularly. Looking for a reliable insulation tester? While we demonstrated the basics using a standard mega, we recommend a higher-end model that offers better accuracy, advanced features, and long-term durability. Ideal for serious professionals, check out our top-rated mega insulation tester in the link below. It helps support the channel at no extra cost to you. Understanding how to use a mega insulation tester can save you time, prevent failures, and even avoid dangerous situations. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more practical HVACR and electrical training tips right here on Paradigm Cooling.